Hello everyone, welcome back to Ultra's Plays Dead Cells, where at the end of the last episode you saw me just willy-nilly start the next run without really asking permission or anything. We are going to... Oh, I think I'm going to go that way again. And I would like this... Oh, I don't... Uh, I'm going to straight up go for the tactics because I promised a couple of not boring builds and we did start with the heavy crossbow, which is very lucky of us. I'm going to mix up the melee and... Uh, what was that? <laughs> Is that allowed? I'm gonna mix up the melee attacks and the ranged attacks. Oh, I pressed the button before I'd realised what I was doing. It wasn't even an autopilot thing. I just hadn't realised that I was about to press the button. That was a brain fart. Thing. Um, just to try and you know mix up the combat because I feel like I was relying too heavily on this newfound crossbow. It's like when you learn a new word, you know. Also, you can use that in the air. Now that we know this. We can start using it to great effect because the uh, problem at the end of the last episode, the reason I died, is that I was trying to do too many things at once, and I thought that I needed to be on the ground to make the. I, I just didn't even see the exclamation mark for that guy. Um, I thought I needed to be on the ground to make that vine work so that I could climb up and attack the mushroom, which was hurting me greatly. Whew. Luckily, that has a longer attack charge than we do. Not that much longer. I think I just got lucky in that situation. Any uh, runes down here? Worth a look? Always worth a look. Boys in sewers, we have not yet found our treasure. So let's look for it. Gonna be this way? I imagine. Also, again, not rushing. I dodged. You can't prove I didn't. Good. Yeah, taking damage on the first floor is a sloppy play. I fully agree. So, stop doing it. I fully agree. Not that easy. Do I want... There's a couple more things on the floor, but I'm just going to leave. Um, we could take the <coughs> kebab, for example, but what difference does it make if we're about to go and get the heal thing anyway? We didn't actually use the healing potion. I think that's the important thing. <coughs> Taking a hit every now and then if you're just sort of slugging it through the level. Probably okay. We don't want to do better than that because you can't afford to keep doing that, basically. Um, we just gave... We didn't manage to unlock the thing that we died with, even though I should have just left. Reducing a curse restores 10% of HP. Yes, I see. <clears throat> but when the curse is 35, you have to take no hits. Let's start unlocking this, because I would like it. I don't think there's any point reforging the blood sword. I don't really like it. Don't need plus three ammo. Yes, exploding is good. Um, let's do that as well. Victim's burn, perfect. And you will give me some support. Let's go full on tactics for now and see how it ends up. We might get um, some weaponry that makes it worth having the. Uh, a brutality build, but I don't want to make the mistake I made last time. Well, apart from the fact that I'm not very good at the game, that was a mistake I made, but the I guess the the meta mistake there was going for the weapon I didn't really need, just because it was a little bit better. I guess the other thing is here that brutality tends to make a lot more sense in general, because it's kind of a lot easier to just hit something with a... F Unless I've got the... You know, the super quick bow or something. What? Okay, that's the one that takes ages to attack with. This um, noise, by the way, of the crossbow, super reminds me of the ice um, cannon in Commander Keen. Oh. Good opportunity for a, a stomp, even though it was a little bit weak. Hey! Get out of it. You deal with it. So, tactics build is probably better when you're actually using your tactics. The other thing I did wrong on the last episode, just completely forget that I was capable of using my skills to cause damage. Um, again, pretty much a, an unforgivable mistake at this stage of the game. Shouldn't be forgetting that you can just chip things that hurt things. 
Still, I do. It's it's my playstyle. Don't you don't you diss it? It's not your playstyle to diss. So it might be. <laughs> In which case, you're as bad as me. But you can't tell me what to do. You don't owe me. You're not my mum. That was nice. Sometimes these things like do a considerable amount of damage, and sometimes they don't do that much damage at all. I'm thinking, may. Let's take the survival. We don't need the. I can smell food and I'm starving. Give me the food. Roll further than that. Can someone please tell me what the subtle indication is that I can use my uh, roll again? Because I'm just mashing the button at the moment and hoping that that's actually an option. Nice. Good everything. I can still use my melee even though I don't have a huge amount of brutality. It's okay. You're allowed. Ah! See, that sort of maneuver is fine because you don't get hit and then the enemy dies. It's pretty much the goal of the game. Don't get hit and the enemy dies. It's not the name of the game though because that'd be a good thing, wouldn't it? Just avoid the enemy correctly and it dies as a result. See, that's how you do it. It doesn't use all of its um, ammo. Like, it's not like the ammo is... It might be, actually. Die. Whoa! I actually used ducking to a tactical advantage there. Oh yeah, it does. The ammo in the crossbow reduces by the number of bolts that you fire, which is actually quite funny. I like that. I thought it was just one shot. Like each ammo was one use of the crossbow, not one bolt in the crossbow. It doesn't make sense that it would be, but it also kind of does from a gameplay perspective. Especially since you can just return to a ledge that you fell off <laughs> when it's too far down for the. Oh, how did I even accidentally what? It's just not good enough. <laughs> Nothing is as good as this crossbow, even though a crossbow has a large lead-up time, which is interesting because I didn't like that in a melee um, weapon, but I'm happy with it in a ranged weapon, even though the ranged weapon really needs to be used close up. That was an extremely rude room <laughs> game. <laughs> I very much did not like that. I'm going to sell the ice grenade and use it as a reminder that I should be using my um, skills to get things done. Although, mind you, when? <laughs> How would it have helped on that room where there was an enemy that could shoot me? And I had to roll towards it, even though I was still killing the other enemy which spawned underneath me. It's a bit of an unavoidable damage sort of situation, it kind of feels like. Oh, hello, I didn't even see you spawn in the frack are there. I always call it melee damage when it's like close quarters, but obviously melee is more of a it's more of a thing, isn't it? Run. More of a frack are in itself, isn't it? Can I get you? No. Just do damage. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Die. Good. That's enough. Only some of it had to die for me to be able to get through there. Whoop. Whoop. No! Not ready. Pretty sure that you do extra damage to things that are in traps. Really need to start using these things more. Then. It's picked it! How did you manage to even attack me? Again! Die. <laughs> I really wish I'd had a better melee weapon by now so that I could kind of rely on actually being able to hit things when they get too close. Please let this be that. No, it's not. It doesn't help. <laughs> Give me anything that helps me because I'm doing terribly and I feel better. I think I just keep running into these frays and it's like you... There's other ways to go, you know. Also, this does not help. No. 
I can actually interrupt my crossbow firing if I don't like what's about to happen. And then we have to go over here somehow. That was a correct use of all of those things, I believe. That would be my guess. I like this. That causes bleeding, and this does damage to a bleeding, but... Let me just improve our... Oh yeah, I can't sell that. That was our first weapon. I would like more tactics damage, please. I, I think that the... Um, I think that the trap counts as a deployed skill. But I have no evidence of this. So I have a 1 on my... I have a damage 1 indicator, which means I think... It simply means I'm doing... Wait. Oh, I don't know now. It just disappeared. I thought it meant that I was currently doing 100% damage. Unless it went up. But maybe it meant that... Mm. I genuinely meant to use a skill there, but my muscle memory is making me use the bloody crossbow. Give me something that isn't that crossbow so I don't start relying on it. And we'll do better this time. Give me the money. Not enough money. Well, that's okay. Gives us a little bit of a not head start. Oh, that's much better. Oiled blade is okay. It causes the en it causes it douses the enemy with inflammable oil, which is grand and all. But unless we can enable it with a fire synergy, it's not really that useful. I much prefer frost blast to everything else we've got. And of course, as soon as you hit the enemy, you can frost blast it again, which we learned a while ago. Um, a couple of episodes ago. Just right, right lying around. Just fine by me. Um, on that one where we should not have lost because we were doing so well. And it was just unforgivable to have made those silly mistakes on the forgotten sepulchre, quite frankly. We are going a different path now. We've learned other places to go. So at least we're trying something new. Uh, and maybe the trying something new could be stop being so bad at this game. I appreciate how much faster the Frost Blast is to attack because it means that you can interrupt. Nothing here? No. We do have a little bit of um, getting used to to do of the, um, the platforming side of the game. There's a lot more. It's a lot more intricate than I kind of gave it credit for. I don't know if intricate is the right word, but um, I'm sure we should be able to get through here. But I can't, so I'm stop trying. Like, there's there's nuance to it, basically, and I don't necessarily mean them. Um, it does freeze them. It freezes them in place, but doesn't freeze the enemy. That's what ice water does. So, I'm thinking there's understanding of the way the game... There's mechanics to learn, basically. I don't have it down pat, and it makes me sad. Let's go down here. I see another oiled sword to begin with, and I should be able to get to everything. It's probably better than the one we've got. It's exactly the same as the one we've got, and we can sell it, so we might as well have it. Get our money back for that. We don't need the money. It's, I don't feel too bad about it. 1600 gold is a decent. Um, I think it's going to be a brutality game, sorry. Uh, 1600 gold is a reasonably small amount. It, it turns up again pretty quickly, especially if you're lucky with gems in walls. So, I don't feel bad about that. Also, I don't feel bad about playing brutality when I'm obviously going from a Malay centric build with a frost backup. And as we know, Frost and Fire does work really well together if you can get a Frost Blast that um, is so good that, yeah, its DPS is outrageous. Nice. It would be great if the Oil Sword could come with some sort of... Um, 
if it's worth it, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, it'd be great if an oiled sword could come with a fire synergy. Even if it does more damage to things on fire, that's gonna happen. I found the treasure room, I can see that. Again, going slowly, not really looking for speed on this one. My first skill, you shouldn't have. But we don't have the fire thingy anymore, so who cares? Let's go in here. Get to the toxic sewers. Start doing some damage. I didn't bring a drink. That was a mistake. What a mistake at the maker. Hmm. I'm not going to cut the episode. <laughs> I'm not going to pause it here, go and get a drink, and then come back. That is rude. Let's use this. It is a purple trap. Oh, I've got more cells. Yeah, of course I have. We also want to fill in this mutation at the bottom. Cost so much to unlock, everybody. So much to unlock. The door has a health bar, I didn't even realise. Trailer flames. Nice. We don't have our oiled sword anymore, but whatever. Um, 15 seconds is a long time. I like it. I don't need it. Well done. You managed to get through the first level without completely ruining your street cred for once. Oh, let's get through this one and get to the next one and actually make some progress. I'll pass on the elites if it's all the same to you. Wow. There we go. You just have to get them all in the thing and then you can deal with them as you wish. Do you know what? Uh, Frost Blast would have been grand in the run that we lost fatefully. Because we would have been able to control the Sepulchre that much better. We don't have to kill them. We don't have to unfreeze them straight away. You know? We choose to because we want to hit them so that they die. But we don't have to. We can run away <laughs> if, if that's what it takes. So maybe this will be our um, bestest friend ever. Because the things that you run away from in the Forgotten Sepulchre follow you with teleporty, but that's just rude. That's something you deal with slowly over time. Run. Ooh. Again, if the enemies choose to attack at the right frequency, you can't avoid it. There's nothing you can do. Because they're just about to hit you. <laughs> Good luck. So we want to go for a fairly balanced tactics and brutality build because our tactics are that good. Again, I'm not using them, but I don't feel like I'm in trouble. The problem is that when I am in trouble, I don't realize, so I don't use my tactics. Like that. I, I meant to frost blast them, obviously, but I didn't um, react in time. I didn't come up with the correct procedure by default, so I, I didn't do it. My brain didn't go, hey, you need to do this, so I didn't do it. Oh, just kill it. Nice. Or it does also like being, you know, I thought I could get up there, but I was wrong. My brain does like being sort of like, hey, you got this, you don't need to do whatever it is you're about to do. Uh, I kind of do. I don't got it, <laughs> brain. Brain, you don't got yourself. I don't need to be up there. I don't need to be up here. Down here. What? What triggered you? That confused me. Another thing you can just do is just wait for the shots to happen. Oh, 15%. That seems about right. Wasn't all of it. That's interesting. Didn't think I was that hurt, to be honest. Help. I really don't know what happened there. The other thing I forget is how quickly your normal skills come back. You can freeze the goo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he just came down with me! You're supposed to stay up there like everything else on the ground does. Tempted to just leave? What do you think? We haven't found anything on this entire floor. 
Except for like two scrolls. I don't think it's time to leave yet. Am I? Do I want to be here? That doesn't seem right. No, I want to be at the next one. Be at least a treasure room before we move on. I want to see what I can at least sell. <laughs> if it's not going to be an improvement, which most things seem to be not. Oh, I can see. Swell. It is a trap. I like burn. Lots of burn. Lots of burn, lots of burn. Yeah, burn. Oh, I am getting sleepy. And I still do want to watch um, The Walking Dead, but I chose to record this episode for you instead. Do you have to um, attack within a certain time frame of the previous one? For it to count as three attacks. Or can you walk around with sort of a charged up attack? Let's balance these. Let's see how that works. Probably not too well, I'd expect. Balance blade three. More DPS and more damage to a burning target. I think that's worth it. And the reason I think that's worth it is we have two things that are causing burning if we actually remember to bloody well use them. So, provided we do. Also, things like um, explodey bird thingies. Yeah, you. Uh, uh, easier to hit with a faster attack. What's up here? An ice grenade. Not sure it's what I want. Although I do like victims' remains explode. I don't want to take two mutations just to make the ice grenade like valuable. Take the XP for now. Nah, don't need a blood sword. Get out of it. There we go. I'm sure there's many more swords that can enable much better synergies that we just haven't unlocked, which is the other thing. Um, as you unlock things, you you get to have runs that are hugely synergistic. Um... I'm actually going to keep it. As much as I like the traps, because they, you know, trap. Um, and that one, indeed, also had the uh, fire synergy. Whoa! I'm more into the idea that... Oh, don't fall off the edge. More into the idea that we can use this one faster, and it's just got a different elemental effect. Some of these are really difficult decisions. I'm just not going for them because I've got inertia. <laughs> what I've already got is better than what I don't know about. Nice. It's pretty powerful, actually. I, I tend to underappreciate as well how powerful the uh, skills can be once you've leveled them up to a sufficient degree. Which may not be that much of a degree at all, but you know, you forget. If you don't use them all the time, like I'm not. Yeah, none of that, please. I'm English, don't you know? Ooh. Good. It's all good. We ain't got nothing to worry about. Let's get out. Uh, no. I'm not doing it. I didn't expect there to be another exit. Get out of it. Let's leave. Um, can't get that, probably. Don't really care about it too much anyway. That is the entrance we couldn't get to. Let's leave. Let's go and fight these ancient shoeish and get through them. See what's on the other side. Um, hopefully not too long of an episode. I do apologise for the huge variance in the uh, the lengths of these episodes. Some of them are an hour long. Some of them are like less than thirty minutes. But you know, um, I don't want you to feel like I'm fobbing you off with your time. You put the time into watching these videos. You should. Get something good out of them, but then again, I should be making sure that you have. Yeah, that seems good. You you get uh, the high octane thrill ride that you you really come to appreciate. I've taken red mutations for now, so I think I should probably um be. Oh, come on, <laughs> it have to be that long. I should be. Putting more in red than blue, uh, purple, even though purple has 
you know, m more... It, it covers more things. But, uh, I mean, I think we had this discussion recently, just because it covers... Oh, God. <laughs> the things are a lot more stronger -er than they were in the previous floor. I mean, I don't have to kill everything. So as long as you don't aggro things and teleport, maybe just uh, leave some things alone. Leave some things alone. First things first. Find me some things to leave alone. Nothing here. I thought that would take us that way. Yeah, I'll leave us. Get off. Don't forget we have like this. So that feels a lot stronger than our sword does right now. Something hurt me. I was upset. I will get over it and they will be hurt back. Okay. There was nothing here. This was a futile endeavour. Probably use the map a little bit more prodigiously. Prestigiously. And also, remember to unlock the. Um, wow, really? Remember to unlock the portals and then go exploring. Is this a better trap? I don't think so. I don't know, really. I, I'm i liking the double crossbow matic because it's doing damage that I can't be bothered doing myself. <laughs> Basically. Um, finding it non-trivial to get damage done. That was just next level plays right there. Also, you can roll through the area of effect of the... of the... Um, of the... Of the Stabby balls, so did you know that? This is a legendary assassin's dagger, which is my favourite type of weapon so far, and it's <laughs> uh, uh, an amazing version, which now means that all of our things are purple. So, I'm hoping I got that. I just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to teleport to me at some random point that I wasn't happy with. I'm going to eat that now. I know it, I probably had less than 15% damage in this, but you know. Help. Also, I have sort of a built-in frost blast, so my first frost blast is my initial hello how are you crowd control thingy but then I can start using my assassin's blade and just things remain frozen which means we're going to play mostly purple hold on it is colourless it just didn't tell me it was going to go up oh, that's because it's not my highest level I see so now it will be we do want uh, see now the problem is my tactics are great but my mutations are not tactical they are Brutal. That was um interesting. Can I just break it and not fall? Yes. Oh, what is it? It's worse. It has to be worse because it's not colourless. <laughs> it's not a legendary one. I assume that's what the L means. Legend, wait for it, Derry. I can't I couldn't get through that. Did you see what happened? There was so much I, I should have ran towards it, but I panicked. I panicked. I'm sorry. Which means I'm going to end the episode at half an hour. That was going to go so well with that legendary weapon, but it didn't. And I'm sad. So, thank you for watching. I apologise for this uh, horrendous play, especially when I've got such good things going on, but... Uh, you know how it is. Practice makes perfect. We're going to keep going down that path until we get the hang of it, and to hell with you, I'm going to use whichever build I think is best but obviously that build can 
turn on the dime. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you will leave a like and a subscribe and a spreading it with your friends and get this word of mouth thing going so everyone watches my videos and I get loads of money and I don't have to do my job anymore. But until next time, thanks for watching this one and I'll see you.